box to let's talk about Down syndrome. Now, I'm guessing many of you are wondering why I'm showing the face for the first time. The reason is I'd like to talk about a very serious, well, it can be serious, condition called Damp syndrome. Now, Damp stands for deficits, def deficits of inattention and motor perception. It mean it can mean you basically, uh, as a child, it can alter your perception. It can alter the things you do. For instance. Some children struggle with it really badly. They can do things that to others children may seem inappropriate and may seem odd, which they can get picked on really harshly because they can better tell the difference. Now, I'm not ask, not using this for a charity. I'm not asking for any money. I just really want everyone to know about this because a lot of doctors have never heard of it and it's not widely known, which is why I'm using this as my, on my YouTube to talk about it. Now, it was, as far as I know, it was first discovered in 1960 by a, doc, by a Dr. Gilbert, as far as I know, but Dam syndrome can affect anyone. It's mostly misinterpreted for traits of autism, basically. And to a kid, having that, it's awful because not it's just the, not just the fact that the other kids don't know why the kids are doing things that are inappropriate. The kid themselves doesn't know why they've done things. For instance, they can do, I don't know, say, say they can just, I know it sounds awful, but they can pull the trousers down in the middle of the lesson without knowing why, without realising it's inappropriate or wrong. Whereas all the kids will be horrified and they won't know what's going on. They'll think it is just a weird kid. Now, there's kids out there that are really struggling with this. The thing is, there's no when there really is nothing wrong with them. All they really want, guys and folks, is just to be accepted. And yeah, you may say right now, or you can't really say this if you don't know, but folks, I do know. I have Down syndrome myself. I've suffered with it since I was a child. I've been bullied all through school because I suffer with it now. I'm nearly 19 now, and it's got a lot better. And I mean a lot, but I'm real, because of medication, I'm able to control everything now. I don't do stuff as much as I used to. Basically, I just want, if you know anyone, just look at it, research it. It's, it's just, I've had been through so many clinics, folks, so many doctors, and so many have just said there's nothing wrong with me. They've not known. And it took, what, it took me 10 years for them to fight, finally figure out what was wrong with me. And since then, it's been horrible. I mean, now I'm at a job. I can do all sorts of stuff on my own. I can control my temper. But before, I couldn't do anything. I literally couldn't, folks. It was awful. I did things without meaning to. I got angry. I lost my temper. I got bullied. I was so naive. I was so, basically, I was lost. My mind was a jumble because the most horrible thing about this problem is if you're a child, or if you can, sometimes you can be an adult, your perception is different to everybody else's because you're defects in it. So what they see, the, what you see, when you're trying to explain to them, they, they can't understand because they have to actually have the same perception. It's horrid. But really, seriously, you need to just look at it. If there's any, if next time, if you're at school or if you're at college and you see a kid or you see an, even an adult acting a little odd, just think. They may have a condition. They may have damp. Now, I'm going to cut off here. I thank you for listening if you've listened, and I do appreciate it. But just research it, guys. I've been Gun Games, and I'll see you later.